I'm going to drop a, a sports ball. In this case, it's a football, but we'll use several different types of sports ball and let it bounce on the ground. I'm going to take note of the height that I drop it from and I'm going to take note of the height that it rebounds to. If we call the drop height capital H and the rebound height little h, then by some very simple mechanics we can calculate that the collision speed is root 2g times big H. Using exactly the same mechanics we can calculate that the rebound speed is root 2g little h. Our coefficient of restitution is the ratio of the rebound speed to the collision speed. So that's root 2g little h over root 2g big H. The root 2g's cancel and we get root little h over big H. How to analyse the two ball problem? Let's make a start at understanding it qualitatively by assuming there's a, a fairly big gap between the tennis ball and the football and watch what happens. So some of you may have twigged what the uh, what the impact mechanics explanation of this is and I have to I have to tell you straight away that there's more than one interpretation of this particular event. But the impact mechanics um, explanation of it is this. Both balls fall down from the regulation height and the first thing that happens is that the football hits the ground and then it bounces up. Following on behind, the tennis ball collides with the football which is moving upwards at some reasonable speed. And the combination of the impact uh, is what gives the the tennis ball is large impetus up into the uh, into the stratosphere. Let's analyse the two ball problem. We're going to need to use vectors. We've just seen that the first event is that the football, ball one, bounces off the ground. It was moving at the same velocity as the tennis ball, ball two, before the bounce, so we can say that the velocity of the football after the bounce is minus e1 times the velocity of the tennis ball, where E1 is the coefficient of restitution for the football on the ground. So U1 equals minus E1 U2. Now forget about the ground. 
The two balls are going to collide with velocities u1 and u2 before the collision and v1 and v2 after the collision. Conservation of momentum before and after the collision gives us m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Now consider the collision. The relative velocity after the collision is minus e2 times the relative velocity before the collision where E2 is the coefficient of restitution for the tennis ball on the football. So, V1 minus V2 is minus E2 times U1 minus U2. All we have to do is solve these three simple equations for V2, the final velocity of the tennis ball, in terms of U2, the drop velocity of the tennis ball. We have to eliminate U1 and V1. The top equation gives us U1. Substitute this value of u1 in the second and third equations at the red boxes. We've finished with u1 and the top equation. Now take the third equation and copy it down a line and move v2 over to the right. That gives us v1. Substitute v1 into the second equation to get the equation shown and we're done with the second and third equations. Gather terms in u2, that's the red box, then terms in v2, that's the blue box, and there's a common multiplier for some of them, m1 in the yellow box. Take the ratio v2 over u2 to give us the desired rebound velocity in terms of the drop velocity. But we're after the rebound height. And remember, the ratio of the rebound heights is the square of the ratio of the velocities. And here's the answer. You know all the variables in this equation. You don't need to remember this analysis but just a couple of observations. Observe how quickly the arithmetic got complicated. This is a feature of trying to analyze collisions in the lab frame. It's a lot easier if the total momentum is zero. However, we have got a working answer using some fairly straightforward concepts. There are some fairly major assumptions that you might want to discuss. How would you evaluate the validity of those assumptions. Supposing you had, I don't know, a high-speed force plate and a high-speed camera.